three, two, one. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. You are game with me, Brothgar, and today I have some more loadout weapon craft in action for you. Now today is a special day because I'm going to go over my very best build that I am rocking right now. Last week I was playing with Brim Fishing and I realized that I need to have a core build that I can actually rely on in the case that I end up playing against some very experienced players and just really need to pull out some good gameplay to keep the team alive in the case that whatever weapon build I have going on isn't working out for me. So he recommended a mortar rocket launcher and I decided to build on that. And I spent the last weekend really trying to get good at that particular build, which was really quite interesting for me because on the one hand, I'm really not a professional loadout player. I don't strive to be really good at the game and I feel like I'm just kind of average or maybe slightly above average at best really. And I really a lot more about the casual creativity side of loadout than I am the PC eliteness of it. So I like to kind of be creative and see what creative ideas other guys like you come up with and recommend and try it out for myself rather than being super pro. But also I need to have something that I can rely on. So what do I have for loadouts? Because a lot of people have been asking me as I've been playing a lot of matches and actually doing pretty good in a fair number of them. Well, I have Brimbroth and Gatsbroth. And if you watched the previous videos, you know what I'm talking about here. But let's head into weapon crafting and see what that's all about. So, weapon crafting, and if we look at Brim Broth, which I will customize here for you, this is a rocket launcher. I've gone ahead and upgraded a few things here. You can see that the improved semi-auto has been upgraded to two, and then the slug is also uploaded. Up upgraded as well. As far as the stock, it is just simple compact. The iron sights, heavy barrel for a little bit more splash damage. I tend to miss the target a little bit, so it, for me, I feel like that's the ideal barrel for me. The improved also, you know, semi-auto, there's no reason not to use the improved. You want to be able to get that maximum damage on the target, especially if you're going to miss by a little bit, so semi-auto is the way to go there. Slug around, because I'm just looking to do damage here. If they're running, if they're running shields and stuff, I'm going to be swapping to a different gun I'm gonna be using new broth so just slug damage I'm also using mortar which has a really steep drop and it's gonna take a lot to get used to but I'll, I'll show you that here in a little bit and then I'm actually running impact and manual trigger here now manual trigger is something that I tested a little bit I tried proximity and then tried putting pyro on this and I just wasn't as satisfied with it manual really allows you to dial in where that impact is going to happen or where that explosion is going to happen rather than proximity which just kind of blows up when you get close you can do more damage if you can time manual just right so if we go ahead and kind of go into the test range here this is brim broth this is the gun I've talked about a few times and that Brim Fission has recommended himself. So if I fire this off, you'll see the arc and you can just see how much damage that does. That's the 60 damage right there. I mean, you can land it right in both of the players and just nail them. The key there is obviously knowing that arc, getting used to it and figuring out where that round is in space. It takes a little bit of practice but the payoff is huge if you can figure it out. So that is my leadoff weapon for either weapon that I work with. And those weapons that I actually work with, as far as different two weapons, you obviously know the new broth weapon here. So let me customize this. One thing I have done, I've built upon this, a lot of people have recommended it, is put a compact stock on there because I do a lot of hip fire with this weapon. And since you have a laser guidance system, I really don't need that accuracy as much because that laser guidance system is correcting those bullets. From there, I have an improved Gatling rifle, which doesn't necessarily need to be improved. I just had the bullets to do it, so I did it. And then I have Tesla as well. So when we go into the test range, obviously, if you watch my channel long enough, this is going to be old news to you, but 100 rounds, and I could just lay into these targets. One, two. And just go from target to target to target. And, I mean, that's what New Broth is all about. It is just about extending the range of the Pulsar weapon and just being able to drop that much more damage on them. It really is a good gun for tracking targets down. I like to use this on either larger maps or uh, pretty much larger maps, maybe a little bit of, uh, you know, hammer capture. But for the most part, this is the weapon I go to if I feel like I'm going to have longer engagements. So I swap this over. That's on another build. 
and then I just, you know, swap between my loadouts. The other weapon I use, which is probably the weapon I use the most in conjunction with Brimbroth, is Gatsbroth. Now, Gatsbroth is a very, very simple weapon. So when we go here, I'm gonna customize this for you. It is a compact stock. Once again, that's the theme across the board because I'm usually on the move. I'm usually up close and personal with these people, especially when you're talking mortar, which doesn't have a huge range, but it does have a pretty good range if you kind of really get used to the arc. So I'm gonna have stock is compact, iron sights, gatling, full auto, not doing spooling, just doing full auto because I'm going to do a lot of ducking, diving and rolling and a lot of parkour stuff. So I don't want to put the spooling trigger on there and be planted to the ground. And then the key here is the standard magazine over the high capacity. Because when you're in a lot of those close quarter fights, you're going to want to be able to use those bullets sparingly at a high damage rate and then have a short reload. So you can get behind cover and then hopefully you're able to reload your weapon before the enemy gets around the cover that you're hiding behind and shoots you rather than spend three seconds trying to reload 100 bullets. So for me, this is actually working out really good. Again, it's not too, not too much like specialness but I mean the DPS is just right there it's it's ridiculous you get up close to somebody you start aiming down at them I mean it's just it is devastating at close quarters I could be running a shotgun I could be running a shotgun but I feel like this is the weapon I like to use and it also here's the key I like to run turret with this if you get onto like a blitz map or something like that you put down this turret it is just going to devastate the enemy Especially if you can find some really good places to put a turret. I mean, look at that DPS. By the time somebody usually figures out that there's a turret there, they're already dead. So the two attachments I like to use as far as this, besides the turret, I also like using jump boots. So depending on if it's some sort of flag capture, either one, it's going to be either domination or blitz. It is definitely I'm running turrets for that as well. Uh, and then otherwise I'm running jump boots. So... Once again, once we go to the loadout, here it is for you. We have Brim Broth, which is that rocket launcher I was talking about. Gats Broth, the turret buddy. And then I swap on over Brim Broth, a new broth, which should be 5.0, but I haven't renamed it. And then the jumping boots. Now, I don't really like to use the turret too much with new broth 4.5 because usually it's those longer engagements. And at that point, the turret isn't doing you a lot of good unless you have a scope on it. So how did these loadouts work out in real life? Well, I've gone ahead and created a bit of a montage of some of the gameplays that I did over the weekend, showing the different strengths of each weapon and the equipment that goes along with them. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage. As always, if you enjoyed this video a little bit or you just want to support my content, that like button is really going to help me out. If you got a loadout build or a certain weapon build that you want me to try, make sure to leave it in the comment below. Since I have all these bluets now, I got like 25,000 on there, I should have no problem giving it a shot also if you haven't subscribed already you know what you know where the button is thanks for watching guys peace enjoy the footage and i'll see you in the next episode the boom in the face <laughs> oh did he rage quit oh he might have raged quit <laughs> Yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Boom, shakalaka. Oh, 
objectives remain. Three captures remain. Damn, that's points. Come on! <sighs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh. oh my gosh! <sighs> wow!